and I'm here with Coda today and we're going to go through the sit pretty trick. This is one that takes a lot of practice for your dog because they need to build up the muscles to be able to hold their body upright in that sit pretty position. So let's get started. Before I start, I always make sure that I've got my canister of treats or my bowl of treats or my treat pouch so that I've got food that's readily accessible. So I need Coda to start in a sit, which is pretty awesome and done for me all by himself. I'll have a treat in my hand and I'm going to use the treat like a magnet to his nose. So he's got to be interested in the treat and I'm going to move that treat back so that I can see if his front feet lift off the ground. So I'll move the treat back, yes. Any little lift from the dog is gonna get a yes and a treat from me. Yes, and a treat. Grab a few more. Yes, and a treat. Yes, and a treat. Good, poor cookie, well done. When you first start, your dog can usually only do a couple at a time, so you wanna give them loads of breaks between each repetition. As they get better, you're going to aim for longer and longer holds so that they can hold that position for, them, for you. Let's try again. Cody, okay, ready? Sit. Good boy. So I've got the treats in my hand. Yes. Good treat. Yes. Good boy. I'm saying yes that moment that his feet come off the ground. Yes. Good boy. Well done, Cody. Good boy. When I want to build a little bit more duration, I can either use a prop or my hands to try and help support them a little bit. So if I was to use my hands, what I would do is sit. As my dog lifts his feet up, I'm gonna slip my arm underneath there so he's got something to rest on. So his feet go up, yes. And I can use my hands here, making sure that I'm feeding nice and high so that I can try and keep that back as straight as possible. Now Coda's leaning a fair bit on me and you'll be able to tell that by how straight his back is. What makes it harder is that if I need to move my hand away, he's not able to hold that position. But what holding him there does is helps build up those muscles in his tummy to be able to support that sit pretty position. So I'll show you again. I'm gonna move him up, I'm gonna put my hands here and I'm going to feed him up nice and high, so I'm trying to keep that back as straight as possible. The other thing that I can use is the couch. It works really well if you have an L-shaped couch, so you've got that little corner that you can use. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to get Coda to sit with his back facing the couch. I'm going to ask him to go into the sit pretty position and what this couch will do is just give him that extra support so that he can't fall backwards. Good boy. Wait for him to finish eating his treat. Good boy. Good. So you can see he did the little hop back there but he had the couch there to support him. Yes. Good boy. That was a nice one. Yes, good boy. There you go. Have a go with your dogs at home and don't forget to send your videos to show us how they go.